so now that the snow is finally melted i can take everything outside that it has been outside for the last couple of weeks if you live in the midwest area of the u.s you probably experience a little bit of a winter craziness going on in the last few days here in indiana we had a little bit of snow a little bit of rain <sighs> and temperatures were uh, below freezing a couple of nights. So today I want to show you a couple of things, mainly to give you an update and to mention certain things that I know you guys have questions. So let's start with my hostas. If you remember last year, I bought two hostas from my local store and I put them in this container. I show you how I did that, nothing nothing special but i decided that i was going to leave it in the container and try to overwinter it normally what i have been doing if i have shrubs or perennials in containers is that i leave them outside i don't protect them from the cold but i leave them somewhere protected from the snow from what i have experienced in the past is that the snow getting stuck in the containers or if the holes, the drainage holes for some reason don't work and the snow accumulates, the, the perennials or the shrubs that I have grown there might use rotten. So instead of doing that, instead of uh, risking that, I just put them underneath somewhere where the snow will not get to them, but they are still outside. Last year, however, I decided just to leave everything outside. So I left them here and I am happy to report that they are coming back. They are doing amazing here. And the only thing that I'm going to do this year is that I'm going to remove a little bit of the top layer of soil. This is soil from last year. And I am going to add new soil and some uh, fertilizer, probably plantum from Spoma. And that's basically all I'm going to do and I am going to call it good. More than likely this year during the fall, I will have that hosta somewhere permanently in the ground because I think that the roots are just going to be doing a little too much in there. And the container is not that big. And remember, I have two hostas there, not just one. So this year I am just happy to report that those are coming back and I'm happy about that. Now, my red bud, if you guys uh, watched my video last year in the middle of August about moving my red bud to uh, another location, you said that um, it wasn't an easy job and I was actually worried then that I was going to be hurting the tree and I am definitely very worried now that um, I may have hurt it really really bad what's been happening is that the buds on the tree started showing early in the spring throughout the whole tree and i was really excited i thought oof that was that was a close call the tree is doing amazing the buds are showing however those buds only develop fully on one side of the tree. The rest of the buds haven't even opened yet. They developed, but they didn't completely bloom. So I don't know if maybe the tree is just in shock, which that's completely okay. It, it was expected. And um, I don't know, you guys, I am just really, really worried that I have, that I have killed half of this tree. And if that's the case, then I'm just going to be very, very upset at myself for making that choice, that decision to move the tree in the middle of summer. I actually contacted the uh, company where I got the tree, a local nursery, and they say um, just to wait, just to give the tree obviously some space, not to do anything, just let it be. Hopefully the leaves start showing up uh, throughout the whole tree and you know, maybe just the blooms were the ones that got shocked. But even if that happens, um, the tree may not bloom next year, who knows? And, and that's okay. If it doesn't bloom next year or even the year after that, that's completely okay. I just want the tree not, not to die on me. <laughs> oh, please don't die. It's 
cold this morning um, if you guys follow me on Instagram you probably watch a small video that I uploaded about all the snow just hammering these tulips down and most of my traps outside I actually wanted to show you this spot uh, many people treat their tulips as annuals I like to give them a chance for a second maybe a third year these guys right here as you see them they are blooming for the second year I planted these tulips in the fall of 2019 last year in the spring of 2020 they bloomed spectacular they were full they were amazing every single tulip that I planted came up and it was great so I decided to wait to let the foliage die on their own which is what you're supposed to do if you want to give the tulip a chance uh, and once the, the foliage was done and brown and done then I cut it off uh, to the ground level and then this year they come they came up again so the amount of tulips that came up this second year wasn't completely um, enough for me to give him a chance for a third year. I probably had about, I don't know, maybe 30% coming back and that's just not enough. So what I'm going to do this year is that um, I am going to dig these guys out and I'm going to plant new tulips this year in the fall so that next year they can bloom again. I have mentioned this in my videos before that some tulips do better than others as far as coming back year after year. I know people that have tulips that are blooming for their 10th year in a row. So it's just a matter of trying and deciding what you wanna do. I have a huge area in my garden where I plant tulips and I like to go thick and heavy with tulips. So if I was going to do that every year for every single corner in my garden, it will be a lot of money in the fall for bulbs. But trying this way, concentrating in an area and letting them be for a second, maybe a third year, then it works because I can have new ones in another spot while some are just trying to bloom for, this, for the second here. So it works for me. And that is all for today, you guys. Until the next video.